Okay then, it is 3.11 on this, the 24th day of April 2021, and I am the Grumpy Game Dev, and this is Freebooter of Splore. We have 68 days until the due date by which we wish to have this game on Steam, which seems like a whole lot of time. But when you start looking at the, hey, we got all this stuff, that's not quite so much time at all. Plus, we are attempting, at least, to refactor. If we can. Okay. Ugh. So I'm looking at my enter game function. And... This is what I want to do. <clears throat> Return. STD. No opt. Go bloop. Return. So, <clears throat> and there's a different problem with this being an if else if chain, but first let's, so if it's a minimum, then we do that, we turn that. Otherwise, if there are any creatures left and there's a creature where we are, okay. Really, I could put this a little bit differently if, if I wanted to. I could say if there aren't any creatures left, there aren't any creatures left, then we're done. So, are you dead? Are you done? I can further this if else chain here to go okay otherwise okay so now the conditions are way more that are you dead are you dead are there any creature are there no cre <clears throat> Are you dead? Did you win? Are you fighting? You're exploring. And then actually we can say this, we could say anything. Let's see, get rid of this one because this is the else else. The final else. We say, okay, anything else you're exploring. Okay, we get rid of else's and else's. In the end. The code does not wind up any different. Are you dead? Did you win? Are you fighting? You're exploring. Uh. Yeah, this is kind of a game state router right here. Okay, and so what, is, what do I got going on? All right. 
All right. So everything is all fine here, and we're going to put there we go. I uh, refactored the enter game function function for UI state. Yeah. Did a whole bunch of things here too. Let's take a look at what were some of the other things I did. And I said go to main menu. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff. Okay, close all tabs. Let's take a look at what we need to do. So let's get the tabs. Let's get the tabs. So, all right, <clears throat> we can do this a little bit differently. And so I got these states. Let's close all the tabs. Close all. All right. So I need uh, avatar inventory. I need floor inventory. I need minimap. That in play minimap and avatar status. So these are the four. Plus I will need uh, the UI hamburger. Drop, that's that. I did mini map first, as I recall. Alright, so we have starting here. We got map, floor, inventory, and sta. We're going to take all of these out of there. Well with one exception. I'm not I'm gonna I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave um map so this is how this works that's the UI hamburger I'm gonna put that there and then for in UI hamburger we're gonna make it gray and black and black So for avatars up, and then we have to. Nope, we're already in there. So in avatar status, the one that we care about is STA. That's the one that matters. It goes at the end. Let's look for map. So map, flur, and inv. Are not there. So now in here we want Fleur. Nope. So this goes down here. And look for map, 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 inv, and star. Go away. Huh, an avatar inventory that it's going to be in. So that's the one I care about. And the one that goes down to the end. Now I look for map. There that one is. So I do map floor and star. <clears throat> and now in theory, game theory. Close that. This does not need to be open. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Because <clears throat> now, in theory, I can. Um, run the app and it should work still the same and still have the same one that's
Start new game, and we it looks all the same to me. But the ones that are gray are all getting written, and then there's one more on top that's getting written. So good. Now what can I do with a text? I can set text. Can I set? <clears throat> can I set it set a color? Const. Let's grab the whole rest of this line here. There we go. Graphics.texts. Texts. It's really about the same thing. Really? Right? Right. And then... About the same thing here. Okay, so you are your layout name, your text ID, and your color. And you're gonna be color. We capture color and we put color in there. Cool. So that is neat. Now I need some I need some areas. I need some extra areas. Okay. Let's put the area, okay, let's put the area Okay, so the area, the area ID is gonna be map and It's gonna go starting at 360 16 it's going to be a height of 16 it's going to be a <clears throat> width of 70 and this one's going to be called Fleur and Fleur is that plus 70 which is 420 That's 420 plus that's 490. And you're called in the. And then finally, star. And that's 490, so that's uh, 560. Is that right? 490, 560, yeah. It's 410, 430, 500, and 570. There we go. And that makes the sense. Okay, so now I got it right. And we need a text ID for each of these things too. Call you text ID map. Also call you that. Area map, text floor, text ID floor. Text inv, text ID inv. And text star and text ID star. Come on. So that's super great.
Neat. So then... So now I kind of got a naming convention going on here. This one's called UI Hamburger. It's on motion. If areas contains that. Now we're going to put the okay. const std string area map equals map. Map for Insta. Map for Insta. Do I do actually have to have? Oddly enough, oddly enough. T E X. -T. Text map. It can vary. Okay, so when the state is down, okay, so we can do like a bunch of these, right? We can do a lot of this. So if areas contains area map there's graphics, texts, set color, layout, name, text, map. do this for all four of them which is very very repeating but one two three four so we have map flur text flur this one's area in text in and text in and it's area star text star and text star okay do we build and does it work
Schrank. Bank. 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 Color normal. Static void. Uh, update uh, tab color. And the only thing we care about is what is the area ID. Const std string text ID. I think that's about it, really. We do need the areas, don't we? Okay. Do I care? Do I care <clears throat> how often I do this? I probably do. So const std set std. Okay. okay, there is contain area ID. Then that is going to be the text ID. And done. Schaffenacker, what's going on? I'm in the midst of deduplicating my code. Round one, I'm deduplicating it this way, which reduces all this code into four lines. to further deduplicate my code. Const std map to the string. So do I, or do I just do a tuple? <laughs> std vector std tuple std string std string no, no. Um, tab Controls. Yeah, we'll do that. Equals. You are blah. I'm drying up the code. I am drying up the code. And uh, as a result, also making it much more declarative. I do dry up. I do dry up my codes. Dunk, 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 dunk. Oop, there we go. Bunk. And do I have too many of these? Do I have not? Okay, so there's so zero, one, two, one, zero. Okay. So now I got four lines. I actually may wind up with uh, four auto. I'll do auto A. Um, 
item. And we'll call you tab control. In tab controls. I'm going to say. Area uh, std get zero tab control. And std get one tab control. So I just made the code longer, but less repeaty. That's all right. And let's make sure it works. Okay. Uh, it does. It does what I want it to do. If I go over to the next tab, does it do that, that, and that? It sure does. Well then, we are good. Now one last thing. I will do I'm going to put well I'm going to commit now. Committing. I got the hovering for the tabs in game working. Let's suppose I'm gonna actually check all four tabs. Let's let's do that. Okay, on the map screen, floor and sta. Map screen, map and sta. On the inventory screen, map floor sta. On the status screen, map floor in. Got it. All works. We're good. Now we need to add a piece of functionality. That piece of functionality is based somewhat on here. So area map. And we're gonna do a UI right, I think. Okay, I have application UI state. Is that right? Do I have it? So it came in from somewhere. Actually, yeah, it has to come in. So application UI state. application UI state right and UI state UI states uh, in play map And we'll go one, two, three, four. So if we go to area plur, then we go to in play, in play floor. Go to area imb, we say in play inventory. If we go to area star, we say in play status so right on okay And let's see that that works, because that should. Um, this one is, they no longer make it, or I haven't been able to find it. Uh, it is, let me, let me, let me go to Amazon and let me, all right, let's go over here. Um. 
See if I can find the one that It looks a lot like a Yeti snowball. But it wasn't. So it kind of looks like one of these, but it's an off-brand. There are there are other So this one would probably work for you. Mine, um, I can I can show you ever so briefly. So and well, I'm going to move my camera rather than moving the microphone because the USB connection gets a little bit weird. So it can look looks like looks like that, which is kind so basically it's something kind of like a Yeti snowball, but but not. It works pretty well. It's a cardioid. Next, let me see if I can find a. Um, Amazon.com. Uh, cardioid microphone. Yeah, the although this one's not bad, mine, mine wound up okay. So here you go. This is one for fifty bucks. I think I got mine for thirty. But I think there was like a I think there was like a Chinese manufacturer making knockoffs of this, and I happened to be right in that period of time while they were still churning that out. But so. Um, Assuming this one works at least as well as this one, I will send the link. I can do that. Da -da 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 -da. And yeah, unfortunately, it never. Because as with many things, in 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 a streamer's life, um, you can pay as much as you want for a microphone, but when you try to would you try to cheap out on it? It, ne <laughs> it never ever works because I had I had a different one where I'm like, oh, I'll buy this one. It's only twenty bucks. It sucked. This one's way better. It has its problems, and then there's always the what happens as you go through the filter. But also, it allows me to do there. So I mean, really, the Blue Yeti is like the standard. So most of most of my like streamer friends do Blue Yeti, but you find one of these it's all right okay glad glad if I wind up helping it's like for oh look at that you know this game has not so if I hit here dunk 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 oh look at you oh look at you you beautiful thing you wish I would have had that on the jam jam week Yeah, in which case, I do um, I do recommend because the the actual Blue Yeti, um, any more dollars the same as a quid, right? Because what what is it? Uh, USD to two G. Oh, not so much. We were doing okay for a while. Not so much. Okay. But um, anyway, thanks, thanks, Merka. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. Um. There 
was something, right? Wasn't there? Okay, bye. Glad I could help. <sighs> now, now I'm realizing you were using euros. What is it to the euro? To the euro. Doing all that well there either. Meh. <sighs> yeah. Getting some eyeball allergies up in there. Okay, so we're gonna have a const std map the string to a std function bool whatever. Okay, mouse up handlers equals. I need map. Bring map. Bring map into my world. Gonna have area UI hamburger. It's going to be a blah 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 blah. And we're gonna make you bull. Lead turn true. A hamburger lead play. Alright. Here we are. Yep. Da -da 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 Area map, do this thing. Area map, flur, in, star. In, and star. Play floor. Inventory and status. So that's a little bit better. Now we're just going to go for auto. Yeah, uh, either well, item in. Oh, call yeah, the handler. In mouse up handlers, oh wait, no, I, I can find it for area in areas. We can do it, we can do it, we can do it this way area in areas. If Sub handlers for the area. Oh, dot find area. If iter is not equal to mouse up handlers and then iter second. Return iter second and we return false. 
in the case that it goes. So go through the area, find the mouse handler. Actually, there's a, I think my dispatch function does that. Not quite though. So common utility. So dispatch takes a void. Mm-hmm. We're going to, in a minute, refactor that. We're going to refactor that in a minute. Because this, this is no good. Because I've actually got something. One, one, one. Boom, 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 boom. Start. That far, far in. Okay. Okay. Uh, refactored. Um, tab control handling. So now though, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do t enum type name t result. It's going to return t result. There's that. I'm gonna say return key, and then there's got to be a const t result. Eh. Result uh, default. Uh, how do you do this with a void? How do you do that with a void? Hold on. Okay. And that's how we differentiate. Type name t result. Result, yeah. uh, default, result, return, default, result. So T result. And that's a result, and we're going to return, return that okay so now there's a different dispatch that allows me to return something and this should return common I need utility common utility Utility dispatch. Mouse up handlers. And the key. Ah, yeah, I still have to do for each area. What are we doing? Four. Auto. Area. For auto area. And areas. If. 
Is there really any difference? Yeah, it is. If that. Return true. Otherwise, return false. I don't know if this is any better, really. There we go. A little bit shorter, shorter by a line. If I can dispatch that, then how about bool bool result equals false? Let me say re result equals result or that and I've just accumulated I think I just made an accumulator so if it's already true then it's just true or we can dispatch it to the next thing I've just done a reduce kind of sort of oh I folded it I folded it awesome But this bothers me. Look, look at how this bothers me. But it's clean. It's clean code. I understand the code. I don't have to. No. Okay. Stop it. Stop it. Make sure it works. And if it works. Ooh. Ooh, you know what? The UI hamburger is its own set of tab controls. So, all right, I just did the wrong thing. I think I wind up because I'm not thinking about um, the combat quite as much because so I have to split this out. Okay, so I'll start that new game. Okay, I'm gonna go and find something to fight because then. Okay, see, I can do this and it's going to try to take me to those things. And that's no good. This is incorrect. Incorrect. So, one thing that I can do is say. Sub layout hamburger does not belong to combat. I don't put this one on the combat results. And I don't put that on combat. There's more to it than that. Because really, what's going on here is that uh, UI hamburger should be a completely different overlay. Continue the session, go to the map, combat, so, that's interesting. Oh, ho, 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 doesn't matter what's going on because I set this up. Um, what are the states? Where are you? Because I put them here. 
these are the only places where this particular thing should go. Start new game. Okay, here we go. Come on, come back. Okay, so now I click here, nothing should happen. Okay. I now have to split out sub layout hamburger and um and tab controls. Copy, and I'm gonna pasta paste. Call you tab controls. I'm saying sub layout tab controls. So layout tab controls. So for the UI hamburger, we're going to take out everything that is not the UI hamburger. For tab controls, we're going to take everything out that is the UI hamburger. So there's that and now I'm going to put these back and then in addition on the avatar inventory avatar status um, avatar floor inventory and avatar minimap in addition to the UI hamburger I need tab controls Here in floor inventory, there's that. Uh, avatar status, Hit that, and avatar inventory. I need that one. Okay, so now, and then. Copy. And we're going to paste. Okay. I'm not going to copy and paste. We're going to make a new file. I'm going to say add new item. Click on your sub layout. And how does it? How does it go? It goes sub layout. Not sub layouts, add new item. Sub layout tab contr tab controls dot cpp. So we go A C A V and your name is going to be sub layout tab controls instead. And your name is going to be tab controls. Back over here on the UI hamburger side, you are going to exist in let's see, one, two, three. In in play combat and in play combat result. Here in dealing with this, I don't want any of these. I don't want those. And over here in the sub layout tab control, I don't want anything dealing with the hamburger. And that. So 
So the rest of this is okay when there's all that. And then this one, this one there's all of this. There's no update tab killer anymore. There's this thing. There's no tab controls. It's a little bit much. <laughs> Okay, so now we need to... Master Agent Miyazaki, how you doing today? So glad to see you. I botched something, which means I need to... Which means I'm in the middle of splitting out some code. And I got one more thing that I need to do. So I need to go into sub layouts. We got uh, and tab controls start and then over into the bootstrapper. Application. And where'd we where'd we have? Yeah. Come on, you know, we're looking we're looking for hamburger. What? Not H. Control F. Hamburger. Okay. Tab controls. Okay. Build. And see if I've split it out. Fuel schnobble. What's going on? Well, identifier. It should be nowhere. Yep, that's right. None of that. Do you see how very functional I've gotten with this? I actually, this is more or less a. Uh, not sure what to call it exactly. But look, behold, behold the functionalness of my Z plus plus code. <laughs> Well, not 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 ex not exactly. This is really more like a railway result result T kind of thing. Yeah. <sighs> and let's go. Run it. Let's 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 see it happen. Start new game. So now, yep, there's the floor, there's the inventory, there's the floor. Ooh, I think there has to be, oh, it has nothing, so hold on, map, so floor, okay. Ugh. Now, well, at some point, I'm going to replace these pieces of text with images. But I don't have to yet. It's a thing. It's cosmetic. So now when I'm here on the map screen, what sort of controls, what sort of controls do I want to have? So I have... Um... So more or less when I'm when I'm here 
these are my nav my navigation controls are um, this side right here is turn that way this here is turn that way and this here is move forward it there was the other day it was snowing it's been a little bit chilly here not not bad though then there have been frost there's been frost on the ground but that's it's like yeah well it's that time of the year Th that can happen up until May here thanks polar vortices or whatever's going on So let me have, I've got an idea. Okay, there's there's no way, cause I wanna give feedback to what you're doing. Cause right, like right here, I've got this feedback to go, oh, okay, you wanna, you wanna click those things? You click those things. So I want some feedback. So if I'm over here, it's gonna give me a turn that way. If it's over here, it's gonna give me a turn that way. If it's go forward, do that. So let's do that. So let's get some new graphics, but everything's working here. So let's check in. I uh, split out tab controls from the UI hamburger and can, and it works. So I got to double check one last thing to make sure that it works. Start new game. I gotta get into a fight and make sure that there's nothing I can do here, but I can still do this. I will continue my session. All right. Yeah. All right. So we are checked in. Oh, my autosave changed. That's okay. That's all right. Um, so I can say I've done okay, that's taken that's taken care of. Well, kinda. They were okay. Mouse minimap. Okay, so this is a this is the minimap state. So I've got a choice of how I want to do this. Now it's not on the POV layout. Okay, so let's go to game icons. Okay, how about move? How about arrow? <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, let's see, you are, there's always, okay, let's look, let's look. So I kind of want this. I kind of want this. Okay, thrust. It's called. Under arrows and ranks. Nope. So I can do this anti-clock GUI. That's what I want to be in. I want to find this. So I could use these. But that's not. Or I could just go, you know what? Let's flip these things. Alright, let's do that. Let's take a plain arrow. Timer still. Got two example parts from NXP. Some sensors, pressure, temper, accelerometer, as well as a dozen processors.
Yeah, no, see, and that's a, that's one of those things. It's one of those, uh, one of them skills, man. That's a, um, I am not, I am not a solderer in the slightest. Um, well, that's not, but that doesn't mean I've never soldered something. I do on occasion solder something, but it is, it is very ugly and sloppy. And don't forget the, to get the, the braid stuff for taking up excess. It's it, Soldering is is all of, is is not just about getting solder onto something, but getting solder off of things. All right, let's do a size and preset. Let's reset everything. And we're gonna make you a what size? What size? It's a size and preset. We make you 32. 32? 32. Okay. And the background, we're going to. So this is totally fine. So we're just going to have uh, none. And foreground. Foreground. You have a different color. Generally speaking, kind of have this uh, yellow color sort of thing. Okay, so let me open that well first off let's make let me make a new one so I'm going to do 96 by 32 right okay and instead of this we're just going to image uh, rotate That one, and we're going to rotate again. We'll rotate one more time. Say, what? Bunk, 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 bunk. Okay, now we're going to file, save as, save. I'll go to here. Assets, images, uh, movement. I think that's good. There we have it. So now we're going to place them. Do I have an ability to set it visible or not? Okay, so let me look here at graphics dot or state. Graphics.images. Let me look at the let me look at the header file. Graphics images. Set visible. I do have the ability to set visible. So that's cool. So then right here on my POV. Nope, I'm looking at the wrong spot. I'm not I'm looking wrong. Sub layout, not POV. Oh, I need a different one. It is on the. Hmm. It is on the mini map. So I'm going to put it here on the mini map. We're going to have an image. Image you're gonna be the color is gonna be white. Oh, I don't have um, the sprite. I don't have the sprite yet. So I need the, okay. I got it. I am putting that putting the cart the, 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 the cart ahead of the horse here. Movement assets images movement ng. Okay. Now I gotta put sprites in. So it's called movement. You are called movement. Movement. We'll call you move left. 
So we'll call you turn left. And you are 0, 0, 32, 32. Let's put uh, move ahead and turn right. So that's to move ahead is going to be 32. And move right, it's going to be 64. So, good, good. And let's get you onto the mini map. Yeah, those are the things called wicks. Uh, um, yeah, um, uh, or braid. Wait, there's a solder braid? Oh, using wick and braid. Okay. But yeah, def definitely is something because part of learning to solder is learning to desolder <laughs> because we are human and make mistakes. But yeah, look for wick and braid. And just, yeah. Let's see, we'll. Without actually doing the thing, we'll just put say here. And that, uh, I've, cause I've, I've watched a lot of the 8 bit guy. I don't know if you watch the 8 bit guy, but I watch a lot of his stuff. And what, as, as I'm watching him, I know he's really okay at soldering, but he does point that stuff out. So I'm like, hey, you know what? There's, there's a, there's a good point what he's doing you say move ahead and move turn right maybe 32 and 64 make sure that we can show these things on the screen Yeah, every single time. Now, I don't solder often, maybe about once a year. Every time I do, I go, because I, I just, I self-identify as like, no, I have soldered before, but I'm just going to watch somebody who solders all the time on YouTube and watch their hands and see what they do. Because that's always very valuable things. Okay, that's where those goes. But this one needs to go down here. This one needs to go right here. And this one needs to go right there. So let's move those into the spot I want them. So turn left. It's going to be at uh, zero. So it's going to be three. What's so a 180 minus 16, right? So 170 minus six or 164, right? So these will also probably be at 164. And this one's going to be at 360 minus 32, so it'd be 328. And well, this one's in the middle, so let's let's see how it looks when I do 164. Start new game. Okay, so that looks that looks okay. Boom, boom. Now I have to make it appear and disappear. Yeah, no, but it's he's he's got he's mostly a retro brighter, but he does have some soldering to do, and so he's got like good advice on that. So I was like, go like defer to the people who do the thing. So he's also a good guy to watch for that, I suppose. Shame about his house and the flooding that he had, but Texas, it happened. Mm. 
Uh, right. So now I'm going to go over here and I'm gonna say visibility false. Oh, what, what, what's it called? Is it called visible false? Okay, so now they're all gone. Now I need to I need to put areas. But first, what I want to hold on. Here's what I want to do. Okay, let's get here. Start new game. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do a print screen up on here. Wait, no, I I do know these. I know these dimensions, don't I? Yes, I do. These dimensions are on um, no, I don't need uh, POV. What are they? Come here, yeah. Come on. Left side, left wall. There you go. Zero, zero. I don't have the height. So, the image ID, the sprite is left wall. Left wall. The width is 52. 52. Okay. Okay, so we type the area. Mix zero. Y is zero. Width is 52, and height is 360. Now we have an area ID. We'll call you turn left. Okay. Maybe turn right. Your width is that, but your 360 minus 52, which is 308. Turn left, turn right, and move ahead. Move ahead. You're at 52, and your width is uh, 308, 308 minus 52. Which makes you 306 minus 50, which makes you 250. Ah, yep, 256. That makes the sense. That's how I planned all those things out. So there's 256, and move ahead, and those are the areas. And make sure that everything loads correctly. Okay, so we have all that. So now. We need to detect stuff. See, and at this point, I have not changed one single bit of code. So now it's time to change the code. Okay. So now I need to be able to handle Miles ups and so other things that deal with this stuff. Here's that. We're going to have you are here. Okay, so we don't have those yet. And we need to bring in, we have areas, oh, we have the, we do have this stuff. Handlers. We've added that, okay, all right. 
And what are the what are those on mouse button up things that on mouse button up is that return false and then on mouse motion this tool about relies on negative pressure and fast acceleration here it Yes, so that's a well done. I'm I'm glad you considered, and I think it's I think uh, Wicked Wicked Braid is relatively cheap. I think. But of course, you're going to find what you whatever you prefer. Static void on mouse mouse motion. Okay, so now that's that's all good. Okay, so we've got areas. So const std string area turn left equals turn left with a small t. Const std string area turn right equals turn right. Const std string area move ahead equals move ahead. So, very cool. And we're going to do this. Okay, so I'm going to just do it if well, I need my areas, right? So, auto areas equals uh, graphics areas get layout layout name and xy. Okay. So, if areas contains move ahead area move ahead. Oh, come on, yeah. How about, how about we actually spell a head correctly? All right, ha ha. Then actually, we can just do this. So we're gonna say um, graphics texts. Nope, not texts. Graphics. Images set visible. Layout name image move ahead. And then whether or not the area contains move ahead. I don't have image move ahead yet. But I believe I called it move ahead cleverly. Move ahead equals move ahead. Clever. Okay, so now it should build and then should be able to see it appear and disappear as I move my mouse. Okay, so now, nope. So I move the mouse, image move ahead. So are the areas. Areas size equals zero. 
What did I call them? These move ahead. So that's correct. I'm just not in that. Did I put it on the right control? Play minimap, which one are we on? Play minimap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. Okay. Don't need you, and I don't need you. Don't save it, no. Or who knows, maybe the thing just doesn't work. Start new game. You go. Eh. Okay, so what are my areas? F11. Okay, we'll put it here. So we're going to go with. Uh, did I find any? So I got thingy. Thingy is an area called. And you're an object. Yeah, ID. Value is string turn left. Okay. So one second one second turn left. Second turn right. Which one is this one? Let's move ahead. Object. String. Move ahead. Okay. No, oh, did you <laughs> started mining Ethereum? Well, that's a. Um. I find that aspect of life interesting. Um, and I don't, it's a, I don't know what I think about it. I don't know what I think about it for myself. Other people are like, hey, I'm going to do this thing and it doesn't hurt anything, right? You don't think anyway. 52, 0, 256, and height. F10. That's correct. Okay, area ID. Okay, area ID is move ahead. Okay, so I've got areas here. Here's areas. Oh, there it is. It's got move ahead. Do I have the right image? F11. Does it find it? Because here's the image ID is move ahead, right? And the layout name is that. Okay, so let's go. And it doesn't. So what did I do wrong? Did I not call it the right thing? And just move ahead. Oh, ha, okay. Hey everybody, you actually have to give an image ID. To your image, if you wish to modify its properties. Aha. Okay, I don't need you anymore. Nope, I don't want that anymore either. Let's go. Nope, don't need you.
Okay. So that shows up right there. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Maybe I don't make it quite as large, right? So let's get the other ones in there. So image turn left. Turn right. Turn left. Turn right. Let's say la la. Image turn right. Image turn. I did that wrong. Image turn left. Okay, let's see it. Let's see it. New game. So that's that, that's that. And that ooh, okay. Punk, 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 punk. Yeah. So maybe that can be a 10, maybe that can center that a little bit more. Well, the layout I can always change, so there's... Okay. Now, yeah. so if that we can take a head, then so if take a head, then do that. What we do here, we say well, we say damn avatar move ahead, right? Okay. So one, two, three. There we go. Turn left. There we go. Turn. And we say turn left and turn right. This is quite exciting, really, because um, now I'm to the point where, um, other than combat, and well, I need combat and picking up items, right? New game. So now I can go, okay, now I'm going to turn. Ooh, yeah, check that out. Now I can move. Now I have okay. Now this is cool. You know what I want? Okay, this is a great indicator, but I don't have like a tool tip. I want a tool tip for health and hunger. So I'm gonna put that on there. I'm just gonna make task um, tool tip health. Task tool tool tip for hunger. So I don't forget that. 
Okay, but now we got it working. And once we have it working, we commit. The navigation controls on the minimap in play state are, are working. So good for us, we got that thing, right? But it's not very declarative, is the thing. I want a const std map of a uh, std string, that's the area name, and then there's an std string, as the, which are called area images, right? And that equals area move ahead. Comma image move ahead, right? We also have turn left, turn right. Okay. Turn left, turn right, turn left, and turn right. Okay, uh, semicolon right there. And then, so, uh, can I do common utility dispatch Nope, it's really not. Uh, Auto either equals area images. Ew, that was not what I typed at all. Find. Oh, now I gotta go through the areas. For auto area in areas. We have either. Auto either is area images find area if either is not equal to area images and then what we do is we say Layout name, image move ahead, area move ahead. Um, it's actually iter first. Nope, the other way around. Iter second, iter first. That's correct. So when I move, I go, hey, are any of these areas, are any of these areas one of these? Can't handle that. And uh, otherwise, do that. Let's see if that still works. Let's see if that still works. Start the game. We still. Ooh, we don't. <laughs> So this one I actually don't want. Nope, I don't even want. Okay, this is nope, 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 nope. Undo. So this is different. This is STD vector. STD tuple, 
std string std string it's one two one zero oh, okay um items i don't want to say no it's uh, area images bulls yep It is very much the same, but it's not a map. This is not a map. Oop, see, no, stop. Stop. I did not want that. Stop it. So, Z, Z, there you go. C, one, two, three. Turn left, turn right, turn left, turn right. So instead, go for auto area image in area images. This is be steady get one area image. And get zero. Rock on. Ugh. So that's better. So this one is that one, that one, that one. Actually go through each one. Could also have been a map, I suppose. Boink, 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 boink. Go, boink, boink, boink. Okay, real cool, real cool. Mouse motion on mouse pop up. Okay, gotta okay, I will I will commit this. Fixed up the mouse motion hover stuff for moving within the mini map uh, in play state. Okay. So now but now I want <sighs> okay, so now, now we're going to have a map. std string to a uh, std function bool that takes a nothing uh, mouse up handlers that equals some stuff here and what we do is our area move ahead we have a uh, it's gonna be blah 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 blah. Okay, so now one, two, three, put some commas, one, two. Not, in, not on the same line, man. Not on the same line, as it turns out. There's that, and that, and that, 
and that. You are turn left. You are turn right. We go for auto area in areas. Uh, and common. Yeah, we'll do do another result thing. So bool result equals false. Return result. Result equals result or common utility dispatch. You are mouse up handlers. And the key is area. And its default is false. So right on. Yeah, this is starting to become a a pattern as well. But let's see that it works. So start new game. And we make sure one, two, three, four. We can we move forward? Yes, we can. Dunk, dunk, and go. Okay. Dunk. At the end of the session. Okay. Uh, refactored mouse motion and uh, button press handling or button up handling to be more declarative. Okay, uh, something needed to be const that was not const. Go, right, okay, so we now have basic movement handled. So now, consequence of this at the moment is that um, you can only move when you're on the minimap, which might be fine. Because here on the floor, I don't have the ability to move. Here on inventory, no ability to move. Here on status, no ability to move. But at this point, I can declare that mousing on the minimap is done. So. so now the avatar, st I don't know what we even want to do on the avatar status yet. So I'm actually gonna put that back into the plan. But these two, these two I have a pretty solid idea. So once I go to inventory, I want to be able to either use or or drop. So we're at decision time. Is there ever a need to drop an item in this game? And currently there is no need to drop an item. Um, does that mean do I make the decision to say you know what I don't ever need to drop it or do I need to drop it 
Is a limited inventory space a game mechanic? It is not a game mechanic. But so what I'm going to do, because I'm like, eh, it could wind up that way. It already exists. So eliminate. Or do I just call? Do I just make the call? Okay. Let's say I want to get rid of dropping it because you ain't going to need it. So, okay. Let's get over to the avatar inventory. Double to drop. We don't. The need to poop. You can invent a need. You could invent a need. The need to poop. You have to have a poop meter. What color would that be? You have to poop. <laughs> you know, you know, I don't I don't hate that. I really don't. Okay. All right. It's whimsy. It's whimsy, right? All right. I'm putting it in. I'm 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 going to put this as a thing. So, the need to poop. Okay. All right. I'll uh, put it as an idea for now. Okay. So, let's take a look at it. The need to poop. Um, we'll put it in the description. It starts at zero. Naturally, it is a status bar that is brown. It starts at zero. At zero, it goes to one hundred. Um, when moving around, when hunger goes down by one need we'll call it NTP goes up by one aha uh -huh. <laughs> so throw poop okay becomes a <laughs> The thing is, all right, so we're making this game for Steam, right? And the graphics of this game are not going to be a whole lot better than what they are right now, right? Added poop features. No, it's, hey man, so it's not going, it cannot compete with, even with the other shovelware on Steam. So the only edges that we can get is if the game has personality. So the whole, uh, uh, all that stuff, that's personality. The fact that you drink coffee in order to raise your defense. Um, um, when eating food, when eating food, consuming beverages okay now this is poop when eating food NTP goes up by 10 I don't know when NTP becomes 100 a poo is appears in the room and a sound plays. Yes, it does. <laughs> and then suddenly there's poop in the room. I love this so much. I do. And the sound plays. <laughs> you pooped in the room. Um, the poo. Poo can be picked up into inventory. So... 
uh, comes the combat option. What is the effect? The effect. Um, what's the effect that poop has on combat? It can't be very good, right? Because otherwise you just move around and keep moving around until you have to poop and then then you you get because poop becomes infinitely available So uh, positive effect Negative um, attract some sort of monster, right? Into rooms that have poop in them, or to the character carrying poop. Okay, right? So you can throw the poop. So I don't know what the positive effect is. So I, I don't I'm throwing so throwing poop. And and may uh, debuff the enemy's attack value. But only by so far. Okay. Alright. So you throw poop. And you debuff is like maybe it cuts it in half because he's like he's 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 revolted. Not everything is going to do that. Uh, negative effect. Certain creatures like the brain tentacle are plant based, and so their attack value increases. Ha ha. Okay. See now, now, see you start. It starts as a joke. It starts as a joke, but you know, you know what? That is not. This is not a bad idea. This is an interesting idea. And can have interesting consequences. But you have, but you have to balance, right? So you have to have the negative effect. Um, may debuff the enemy's attack value, or and in some and in, perhaps in some cases, in certain cases, an enemy will flee, will flee from a poo flinging character. This is <laughs> of course you can only debuff once so you, you throw your poo at the thing and it either debuffs them or it doesn't or it buffs them, whatever, but. Okay, so another idea which could tie into good with poop. And that is puke. All right, now we can't do too many things. But, okay, let's go. So we got, we got, we're gonna, we're gonna puke. Now, there's, there's a whole thing about puking. I think, I think we're about to head off the rails, is that I think. As you explain, I'm going to get more coffee.
No, I love Need to Poop. Need to Poop is a fantastic idea. I will be right back. Okay, I am back and ready to read a thing. South Park Cube with simple phrase, maybe other people's faces in a green tint and causing these smallish particles, maybe faces of other people. Poop attack. You have a minor risk of causing the player to poop. <laughs> okay. So, see, actually, when you said need to puke, I've also got, um, got this concept of, um, of drunkenness, of, of the, there's, there's beer and wine and coffee is which is what gives you better attack and defense. And right now there's no consequence to drinking to drinking beer and no consequence to drinking wine, right? But so let's take this idea of puking. So okay, so that's nausea. So it's a game of this is this this idea so there's nausea plus Drunkenness. Okay. All right. All right. Not a subtask. I just want a different task. Nausea. Okay. Let's get a nausea. Okay. Carrying poop causes nausea, which may lead to vomiting. So that's a, that's a 
it's a good one. So, okay, let's say new task. And so, so we have drunkenness. Create that. We say drunkenness may lead to drunkenness may lead to nausea. Leads to nausea is caused by beer and wine lowered by coffee may cause nausea. Okay, so. No, okay, so I've got a couple of those ideas written down, and so when uh, we put the effects of vomiting, effects of vomiting are debuffs on attack, defense for the player. So these are good thoughts. These are good thoughts. And then, of course, we can make the fact that they're all diuretics and they also, in, in addition to the need to poop, put the need to pee. But that seems a little bit duplicate to me. Because I don't see any really good different use for... it's all about it's okay well see that gives a theme it's like you're all about addiction really you're not in a maze your, your maze is your addiction man you're trying to defeat these monsters which are just your addiction and you you do it with playing cards which you're addicted to gambling you you, you get better at it by drinking beer and what this is a game about addiction this is a game about addiction That's, see now, that's a thing that separates a game from the pack. Yes. No, this is good. But okay, so I got these ideas written down and I'm going to let that percolate. Well, oh, oh, this is about addiction. This is a game about addiction. All right, it's a good idea to write that down. Okay, let's get in there. This is a game about addiction. The maze represents being 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 trapped in addiction. The monsters are uh, manifestations of that addiction, of those addictions. Cards, you're addicted to gambling. The beer, wine, you're addicted, you're alcoholic. It's, it's not bad. This is like halfway between Trello and like a get the GitHub issues. You're alcoholic. So that's it. This game is about addiction. It's got a theme. Oh, see, this is the, this and this is the kind of thing I can take a teeny tiny little lousy game like this and make it, give it, give it 
substance and profundity and whatever. And so, good. See, all coming from need to poop and coming from the, well, here we'll just have beer and wine help you. But it's, it's so, synergy. Synergy has just occurred. You just watched synergy happen. Yet another reason to stream. <sighs> See, now I'm disappointed because I still have to put, like, I still have to do this stuff. Right? Pooper G. Yeah, dude. Okay, but so now we're back. Now we're back to the spot where I was at. So, we now know that poop is going to be a thing. And... We now, do we now have, it's like synergy, but for poop, yeah. And quite frankly, that can, that can make a game like this somewhat popular. Like, hey dude, here's a goofy little game where you poop and puke. How much fun is that? So now I need <laughs> Do uh so the got to get back to the decision of do I want to be able to drop items? And if so, how do I want what do the mouse controls look like for dropping things because I don't really want it to be all that different here right so when, the, when there's stuff on the floor right now I have to hit the space bar and it takes all of them takes all of that particular so I take the two food I take the two jewels now, one of the things I want to be able to do is click on the individual things okay and I and the ability to take everything but that also exists when I'm here right so X I need to cut these things off so that's right to there. So let me, let me, let me see, you can only drop one at a time. So I want this much. That's whatever the highest thing is here. Because I want to, I want to be able to But perhaps there's a take everything button. That would be cool. Then you don't have to do this junk because I go, what's there? All right. Inventory. Make poop. So, okay, I'm going to just leave it. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to. So, there might be a utility depending on what we do with poop and other other items to. Either and we've already got the mechanism, but what I'm not going to worry about yet is being able to do it from uh, with the mouse. So that's so that's one thing. So uh, when I so when I click here, so basically my mouse control at this point is when I click here, what I want it to do is consume it, not drop it. Has a negative. Has a negative on your charisma. Charisma. Yeah. If only I had traders. Yes. There, there's a whole bunch of a whole bunch of potential effects. But all right. So in here. So from here. 
picking stuff up. First off, let's get that, whatever that's, that, I should be able to find where that one is. Let's get that straightened out. And minimap. And POV. Sub layout POV. But the potion is 292. And I think the food was also at 292. Potion, there's it's food. Food, 292. Okay, so what I'm going to do over here on the minimap is say that the height for turning left and turning right and whatever, it's 292. We'll try, we'll try this out. Okay, so that's there. Eh, eh. But not down here. So, down here is where I grab stuff, so you have to kind of do this. Okay. Do you want Yep, okay. Do I want to have just or do I do a just take all thing? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, and it needs, uh, there needs to be a tooltip for how many of what. Yes, okay. Need a tooltip for each of the items on the floor to show how, what they are and how many. Yes. It's not an idea. That one I need. Yeah, by all means, if it's a good enough idea, I'll write it down. I'll write it down. Or just one. Okay, I can just have a text down here that says okay you've got one food whatever yep there's there is certainly that that would, that would require a rest mechanism okay luring okay I'm gonna put that in the idea bucket uh, purpose For dropping items to lure specific monster types. And it'd be uh, some monsters cannot be lured at all, some monsters are lured by different types of things. So that's vaguely enough. So, without getting specific. Weight is not a factor, and that's the thing. Is like, if I made weight or encumbrance or whatever you want to call it a factor,
But I think in cases like that, it, it always becomes inventory Tetris, and I don't like games that have inventory Tetris as a thing. So I'm, I don't think I want to have, you can only carry blah blah items or only carry so much weight because I think that takes the focus off of what I want in the game. Because now we have a theme. Although you can, can you, can you factor in that you're, you're overburdened into uh, into addiction? Yes, you can. Because you're, you're addicted to having things, right? So it could be a thing, but I'm not going to put it in right now. Oh, oh, oh! And this would only work if it's like um, right next to something. Oh, you know what I need? You know what I need? Oh, you know what? For for visited monster areas, I need a tool tip to show me what monster is there. That I totally need. Because in this game, so in here, I'll uh, we'll just we'll go in here and I'm going to run. Right? So right now it tells me, oh, there was a monster there. But what I want is a, when I hover here, it should tell me um, it should tell me what the monster, what monster is there. This one's going to be a bit more complex because this is a different sort of thing. Huh. <sighs> But it's still it's still entirely doable. Yeah, gee golly, do I get okay? I am not done making my mouse controls. But I find myself saying, I'd like to do something more interesting, and I've done a bunch of mouse controls. Or do I say, you know what, I need to put the first things first, I need to get this part done. <sighs> nope. That's Sally Forth. We could probably get through one of these and then one of them is going to be a lot like the other one. <sighs> See, don't do the fun thing. Delay gratification. It's really, really difficult. So am I checked in? Is everything... What's the difference? What happened? Oh, uh, change the... ones of the movement areas in the mini-map. Okay. So, uh, let's get to the avatar inventory. Oh, avatar inventory doesn't. Hmm. 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 This has a different sort of thing. Huh. How am I going to do this? Right, index and play. 
That is what? Next. So next index. Previous index. Okay. So that's all fine. So let's go to the declaration of this. Go to declaration of it. So index. So I need some sort of way of what is my next index? Let's see the definition. All inventory is all inventory size. All right. Uh huh. I think I need to be able to set the in. So what are the, my properties on here though? So when I draw, shadow row height. Okay. Hmm. This this is going to be a bit more than what I can get done in about about twenty minutes. So let's have it. Well, let's 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 have it handle the uh, right. Handle mouse motion. But what are the okay? So what does it look like really? Avatar inventory. You have an avatar inventory, right? I think I do wind up needing a width. Yeah. Uh, it would be 280. I don't think I need a height at least not yet avatar and okay so these things have to have um, avatar inventory where are you here you are. graphics avatar inventory Void on mouse motion, and we're gonna need include common x y, and we're gonna need SDL. Aren't we? Yes, we're going to need SDL two, which is SDL dot h common const common x y s i n t three two. Da -da. Boda, boda. Mouse button up, and you are U I N T eight. So do a thing. Okay, so let's get graphics avatar inventory. Graphics avatar inventory. Dot cpp. Okay, and there we go. Oh, come on, you can type. Why? Here's why we don't. I don't even think we care about those things. Um. So then, 
Uh, what, we, what we're going to do here is on the in place state, I'm going to application. I need mouse motion. So this one's not handled with areas. This is one final case here. So include application, mouse button up, and include application, mouse motion. I'm going to say application, mouse button up, add handler. Uh, it's going to be graphics, avatar inventory, on mouse button up. Up, got to do the for this state. Bump, bump. Application, mouse button, mouse motion, add handler, UI state, and play. Inventory, graphics, avatar inventory, on mouse motion. <sighs> okay, but, so I don't have... So within here I need to find... How do I get it? How do I get this thing? Ooh, okay. Okay, so this is incorrect. This is incorrect. This, because this I don't really have. Okay, so we're just going to put these, we're going to do that. We're going to take that out of there. That's not going to be there. Um, and over here. We're just going to say mouse button down and mouse button up. So I need to know about getting about handling oh okay now that we still get to do this we still kind of get to do this mouse motion uh, const std string eh. So we do have we do have this. Okay. Return false. So our avatar ID, avatar inventory type, avatar inventory ID. I'm just going to call you the control ID avatar inventory. And a good refactor here is refactor all the stuff to control ID. That is a good refactor. Is that new? As refactor all of the ID in layouts to control. ID because it never has to be that specific. Okay, so that's your avatar ID. Get your control ID. Blop, 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 blop. Oh, semicolon. So 
here, layout name const cd string. No, actually, I don't want to do that. I do not actually want to do that. No, delete. Or not necessarily. <clears throat> Control avatar inventory. Avatar inventory. And we're going to say graphics, graphics, avatar inventory on mouse motion, layout name, and control, no, inventory, and xy. We're going to say return, uh, on mouse button up. And buttons, buttons, there you go, do it, do that. So that's going to get that down over to here. So next we have layout name and we have control ID. So it's layout name. This one is control ID. We have like a all these text things have like a width with text. We'll put that right up in here. We're just gonna call you with control. You're going to be control ID. Type is type what? Type. Do I not have these? I don't have these. Up and ask a need from here. Don't need that guy. Got property. We're going to need all these. I don't need some of them. Hold on, I don't need you and you. Data types. Okay. With control, it's the control ID. You get the layout, get that. Whatever you type is type avatar inventory. Uh, it's going to be control ID. Control ID is control ID. Need to get back over there to data properties. Data properties. C for control. C string. Control ID equals control ID. Maybe that one's even. Maybe that one's even a common one. No, there we go. We're gonna leave it. That's fine. So now, so we're going to with control. With control. Layout name control ID. Da 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 We have to say with control. With control void. Oh, 
right, right. So I need and that is an Enlman JSON thingy. Okay. So that's good. Fix to save void, okay, that's fine. Turn with control bool. Return false. Okay. So now on the mouse motion. So, having to determine which row I'm on. I need X and Y and width. X and Y width and row height. So int X equals thingy common data properties X. Okay. Y width and row height. And row height. You are X, you are Y, you are width. You are graphics. Row height. Okay, so now I got all those things. Do this is broken. B per control, but as there is ever on ever only one on a screen and only one screen is on, choose ain't worth the squeeze. Jots. Jot. Jaw. Jaws. Jotty. Jot. Jots. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. That's a decision. Making decisions. So we got all that. Which one am I on? So if xy dot Okay, what? Oh, gotta put XY in there. Aha, uh -huh. XY. X is less than that. It's greater than that. And XY, get Y, get X is less than X plus width. And XY dot get Y greater than than equal to y. Then we know we are somewhere below and within the so in the horizontal area of the thing. So really we're determining the row that we're on. So int row equals xy get y minus y divided by row height 
Right? Yes. So if row, so we have inventory, right? So how do we know how much inventory we got? Inventory. Okay, game avatar items all. If row is less than inventory size. Row is less than inventory size, then I think this is that. Can make size now. Yeah, I'll just make size D. I'll just size T all over the place. Sure, why not? Tori index equals row. So at least in theory, if I'm on the inventory screen and I move the mouse button, it just might. <laughs> Come on, dude. How much stuff did I check? But okay, I must have changed something very fundamental. Actually, yes, graphics.data.properties is included by a whole lot of things. Start a new game. So if I go over to my inventory, ooh, ooh, I can, I can select them. So then this winds up being very similar to what's going on there. So let's just copy pot. Let's get it, let's get it working, right? You're gonna be the thingy. You're gonna bring X, Y in here. I put button. Okay, so. So that is that. And then, what do I do? Use item? Get item. Oh, it has no idea. Oh, oh. Um. Well, how do we use the item? Well, how did that happen over there? And we're starting, starting to not exactly like the thing. Uh, 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 uh. 
where's green? Green. Oh, okay. Well, that's what that's what this does. Ooh. That control is not a place for doing that. So maybe I have a different thing. Yeah, because get item returns me an optional int. So how's about this returns me an optional int? Okay. Here you be an optional int. CD no opt. It's going to return. Return row. That's just gonna okay. That's TD optional. that I think that'll do it so but now this is completely wrong over here because now that returns um, auto item used equals return item if there was an item used, then we do that. Yes, so that's fine. Item used is true. And we're going to have Going to make the use item static void use item. That's what this is going to be. Say X. That's all you use item. <clears throat> down here item used then use item all right you should figure this out Yes, it does. Dot has value. Fine. All better now. <clears throat> Going to do it. So now. Status over here. I've gotten it. Okay, that works. Okay, so that's a good place to be. I successfully used an item from the inventory with just the mouse. We'll 
call that that may have that may have other other problems later. We're gonna call that good enough for today. And now I am incredibly hungry. Hi, incredibly hungry. I'm dead. Cause at my house, if you say I'm hungry, I say hi, hungry. I'm dead. Oh. And so, time to find time to find our 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 next friend. Who's our next friend? We have not raided the crass in a little while here. Well, he's he's it's Saturday. We're getting through the ad, so I'm gonna get on out of here. We're probably gonna raid Crass. Almost certainly gonna raid Crass because Crass is our friend. He's coding. We're gonna head on out. Thanks so much for hanging out. Now get off my lawn. Boy.